create a new SQL database. I will call this database Northwind. Configure your pricing tier. Go ahead and create the database. Next, let's create an app service. Press New and select Web App. Enter a unique name for your app. Use the existing resource group. The changes to the infrastructure will add an app service that uses a new database on the existing SQL Server. Go ahead and press Create. Now that the two resources are being created, we will need to open up the firewall so we can access the database. Select All Resources. Find the new SQL Server. Switch to the firewall pane. Press Add Client IP. Go ahead and press Save. Now that our resources are in place, we can create our web app using Code on Time App Generator. Let's create a new project and provide a name. Go ahead and press Create. Let's press Next and connect to the database that we created in Azure. Under the Sample Tables section, select Northwind from the drop-down. Go ahead and press Install. Under the Membership section, press Add. We will need to add the content management system to our database to provide a location for our app registration to be inserted. Go ahead and press Add under the CMS section. Press OK. Let's add models for products, suppliers, and categories. First, let's add a model for products. Let's sort products by product name. Let's add a model for suppliers. Sort suppliers by company name. And remove the home page field. Finally, let's add a model for categories. Sort categories by category name. Keep pressing Next to get to the Project Designer. Switch to the Controllers tab. Drag products onto the Suppliers controller. This will create a Data View field. Let's bind the state of view field to the edit form. Let's perform the same on categories. Press exit and continue to generate the app.
Our app is now running locally on our computer. Go ahead and sign in. We can now view a list of products. This app is only accessible from our local computer. We will need to deploy this app to Azure. Switch to the App Generator. Click on the project name and press Publish. Select Azure. We will need to configure Azure to allow publishing from the App Generator. Switch to the Azure portal. Select Azure Active Directory from the sidebar. Switch to the Properties pane. Copy the directory ID. Paste the directory ID under the first text box. Copy the value of the second text box. In the Azure portal, switch to the App Registrations pane. Add a new application registration. Enter a name for the registration. Paste the copied value into the sign on URL. Press Create. Click on the new application registration. Copy the application ID. Paste the application ID in the second text box. We will need to add the Service Management API to our application. In the Azure portal, select Required Permissions. Press Add. Select an API. And select Windows Azure Service Management API. Check the box next to the delegated permission. Finally, we need to add a key. Open the keys pane. Enter a name for the key. Select a duration. And press save. Copy the value of the key. Paste the value under the last text box in the app generator. Go ahead and press Authenticate. Sign into your account. Accept the permissions. Our app generator is now configured to publish to your Azure account. Let's select the correct app service that we created for this app. Go ahead and press Publish. Our app is now accessible from the internet.